Alex, you do it today. You're the star. You're the star. Alex has taken over. Alex, you had that shootout call in Calgary. Uh, nice to get the call and nice to get the finish today. Oh, terrible question. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was good to uh, get to to get the uh, like get the confidence of going and uh, I mean it worked. It worked tonight, so it was, it was nice. Kind of a tough night to keep motivated. That's a uh, tough team that doesn't mind slowing things down pace-wise? Yeah, I mean, they're playing very tight uh, and uh, not a lot of room out there against them, uh, but uh, we knew that from before and we knew it was going to be a, a battle in for 60 minutes or 65 minutes. It's been a while since Jason LaBarbera had played against you guys. Uh, he did a pretty good job to keep his team in this one, didn't he? Yeah, he was really good. Uh, he's a big goalie and uh, I mean, he's making a lot of good saves. Mentally, is it good for you guys going through all this? Who talked to them about having to go to OT again or extra time at least for you doing that a lot? Hi, Boozy. She saw both. Oh shoot! Okay, I guess I'll just wait. <laughs> just wait. Do you know where you were going in the shootout? Is that a uh, move? Kind of. Um, it depends if you, you know, bites on the, the backhand or not. Um, kind of got to make up your mind a as you're going. But I thought. If I could get the puck up on the forehand, I had a good chance. He's a former Canuck. Were there any scouting reports on how to shoot on him? Get a tip from anybody on the bench? Uh, yeah, actually, you know, Lou kind of came over, gave some advice, and uh, I think it kind of worked out there. Um, so, you know, I think that was a big part. Lou kind of knowing what was going on. Talk about your goal uh, in regulation. That's a pretty good drive to the net. Yeah, I'll, you know, I was excited to, uh, you know, get out there. Uh, I don't do many defensive zone faceoffs, so. When I got out there with Manny and Kess, um, you know, I thought uh, it just shows that, you know, I've been working on a defensive game maybe and, and taking a little bit more responsibility there. Got out there and Kess made a good play just chipping it in and the puck took a bounce over over Yandel's stick and then just took it to the net. The way you guys have been going lately with all these extra time, extra overtime games and shootouts, were you surprised it got there again? No, no, we're getting in shape. Were you surprised uh, when it got to a shootout, given the way things have been going for this team? Yeah, uh, well, I was a little bit upset myself on the uh, the tying goal. We had uh, possession and I um, and got got caught deep there on the turnover. So um, you know, why win one nothing when you can win in a shootout? Did it, uh, did it get deflected by Sam? Uh, no, it didn't. It just uh, I was caught deep and it kind of dropped a little bit and uh, went off my stick and in. So it was uh, totally my fault. What about the shootout and uh, you know another long shootout? Yeah, I mean. Uh, he had some good shooters, uh, uh, scored a couple goals. I, um, it was nice uh, for us to get a few goals tonight in the shootout as well and uh, had a couple chances to win it and uh, didn't stop it, but the third time was a charm. What about the third period? Did you feel like it's Surprised that the way things have been going for this team lately, that another game has to be decided in a shootout? No, a lot of our games have been close games and uh, lots of overtime and shootouts. It's, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's a, it's a good way to prepare us for uh, later in the year for playoffs, playing in those tight games, whether we're uh, trying to protect a lead or, uh, or come back in a game. Not necessarily the most entertaining game when uh, these two teams seem to go head to head. Is that tough to be keeping in the moment when something, sometimes things really are, are going at a snail's pace? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a different game tonight. There wasn't a lot of shots, a lot of chances, but um, you know, I think it was good of us to stick to our game and um, you know look at the positive. We we played some pretty good defense against that team and uh, you know didn't uh, give them too many chances.
first game here at home in a Canucks uniform. What was that experience like for you? I uh, felt great. Uh, you know, I got a little bit of a taste in preseason. Obviously, a little different in the regular season. Uh, a lot of emotions out there, and you know, I would like to play a little bit better. But you know, always next game. That's a tough team to play against, isn't it? They really seem to clog things through the blue lines, and uh, not a lot of scoring chances really for either team. No, they played a great game all the way till the end, like you saw, and. Uh, we let up a little bit at the end and came back to bite us, but we got the two points and that's all that matters. One more time. Tall <laughs> guy. He is a tall guy. Rogers game day exclusive Byron Bits, your first game here in front of the Canucks fans. What was the experience like here in a winning cause? It was good. It was glad, I'm glad we won after that uh, hiccup by me there on the goal. But uh, boys, boys did a good job in the shootout, and Lou came up big, and we got the win. Surprising that a game ends in a shootout the way this team has been playing for pretty much the month of February? <laughs> Not really, no. No, it seems like ever since I've been here, we've been having a lot of those, and, and thankfully we, we've been uh, doing well on them. That game put us in the mood, eh? <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, a sort of game that we expected. I mean, uh, you know, coming back from a, a long road trip and playing against a real structured team, uh, there's not a lot of room out there. They don't give you a... Uh, uh, Play a tight gap, and they don't give you, you know, odd man rushes or anything. So you got to chip and chip and chip, and you know, and that's the type of game that uh, that was out there from both teams. Uh, I think the chances were, uh, you know, one one in the first period. There wasn't any room on both sides, and second period we got a little bit better, and in the third it was uh, hard fought. Gave up that late goal there that uh, was a little bit unfortunate. Went in the shootout. And, Again, you always talk about the process. What about the third period with a one nothing lead and just the two shots on goal? Yeah, I mean, you know, offensively here, uh, you know, we might have been a little bit off, but we did spend. Like, if you look at the first six minutes of this game tonight, we spent it in their end. We didn't get a shot on net. So offensively, our execution, uh, you know, was a little bit off. Give them credit. I mean, they were doing a good job, but uh, you know what? Wasn't the prettiest, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, we'll take the two points. I mean, we went into Calgary. I thought we played our best game of the road trip. We lost that one. Hockey's hockey. With all of these shootouts, are you narrowing down your list of go-to players to at least choose mm -hmm. for your top three? Well, every time I think I've got a top three figured out, then something happens. So, uh, I mean, right now, uh, the fact that uh, we're playing a lot of these tight checking games and going in overtime, I think for our group is good. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if you want to get to the playoffs, that's what playoff hockey is all about. It's about tight checking, you know, tight hockey games. And uh, we're certainly getting our fair share of that right now. How happy were you to see David take the puck to the net on his goal? You know, David's been doing that quite a bit. Uh, you know, he did that. Uh, my memory, uh, my memory is good on this one because I had four clips of him doing that in the mini game where he just drove the net and drove their D. And he's doing that quite a bit. Like he's got a lot of confidence and poise in taking that puck to the net. It was a big goal he got for us and uh, tried him in the shootout and he made me look good. Like that coach, you made your move, but. Who stood out for you and your team? Who did you like? Uh, you know, offensively we didn't generate you know quite a lot. You know, you know Cody had that one good chance in the first, but other than that, there wasn't a lot there from any of our players. Hank and Hank's line had a, a lot of possession, time possession in their end, but it, they didn't get a lot of op great opportunities. So it's one of those games. They didn't get very much, and we didn't get very much. What does the coach's handbook say about attacking a team like that? Is, it, is there a way that's preferable? Is there, are there? Well, you got to read what they give you. 
you know, sometimes uh, the other team, you know, they don't give you much. When they're clogging up the neutral zone or, or, or you know, taking your space and time away, you can't force things through the middle. you got to chip pucks behind their Ds, make them turn, and hopefully as you're spending time in their end, you're wearing them down, and by wearing them down, then later on in the game you can generate some stuff. Tonight, uh, I thought we could have done that in the third, but obviously, you know, we, we didn't do it. Thanks, guys.